It's Sunday morning and a few hundred people are taking their seats at the Kelowna Community Theater. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living. They're here to meditate, to contemplate. Good morning. Oh, I'm so glad to be back home again. And to listen to this man. I'll tell you who's going to transform the world and change the world. You are. Each and every one of you. And we have to start there. Because we know that if we change our thinking, we'll change our life. And now we need to understand that there's something bigger happening. And when we change our life, we change the world. His name is Dr. Ken Gordon. He's been a minister at the Kelowna Center for Spiritual Living since he and his wife, Dr. Deborah Gordon, formed it nearly 20 years ago. Do you know what? There is a power within you that is greater than you are and you can use it. Ken Gordon grew up in Kelowna, spending many carefree summer days at the beach. After a successful business career in the Okanagan, he became a farmer in Southern California. While living there, he and Deb sought out a Sunday school for their young children. They discovered a Science of Mind Center. That first day, I thought, oh my gosh, I have arrived. I'm home. I didn't know I was looking for home. I didn't know home was lost. But right here in this room is something that is for me. They soon embraced the philosophy, and after becoming ordained ministers, they were asked to start a church in Canada. I would go somewhere. I didn't know where. The last place I thought we would ever go would be Kelowna. Their church in California had more than 2,000 members. In Kelowna, they were starting from scratch. And I can remember that our first Sunday service, there was 12 people, of which eight of them were my family members. Now it attracts hundreds of people every week. The time has, has arisen for us now to be able to step into a brave new world, which means step into a brave new culture and a brave new consciousness, a brave new idea. Uh, it didn't take long, though, to have you know, a few people come who said, oh my gosh, this teaching is what I've always been looking for. You know, I've been looking for a place that's open, accepting for all, that uh, allows me to learn more about my true potential. And to see those lights go on, you know, that was enough to be fodder for moving forward, moving forward, and trusting that it was all going to work out. And it did even better than I might have ever hoped. We belong to a um, movement. The movement is called the New Thought Movement. It's been around forever. Our vision is to awaken humanity to its spiritual magnificence, to create a world that works for everyone. And that's the important aspect to awaken humanity to its spiritual magnificence. And when we do that, what we'll do is we'll abolish fear and we will create a world that works for everyone. Ken Gordon has just stepped into a much bigger arena. At an international convention in New Orleans, he was chosen to be spiritual leader for all the Centers for Spiritual Living. His congregation is now a quarter of a million people. His goal is to reach 100 million people worldwide. There is an idea bigger than the idea that you hold right now as to where this world is and what we can do with this teaching by taking it into the world and manifesting and bringing into reality the principles that we espouse and that we bless and that we hold and that we embrace. I think that my job to a large degree will be to attract and draw together all of the truths that exist in all of the religions and bring the people together so that we can have dialogue and conversation about it so that we might transform the world. You know, you, you know there's a critical point uh, where there's a critical mass where everything changes. And, and I believe that the world, the six and a half, seven billion people that exist in the world today, primarily want the same thing. They, they, they want to be educated, they want food, they want water, they want peace. They, they want safety, they want security. And I believe that we can bring that about once we change that critical mass. I am so grateful to be able to come here and listen to you. You're so inspirational. Oh, thank you. Although he'll be required to continue traveling around the continent, he plans to spend as many Sunday mornings as he can in the Kelowna Center, speaking to the people he thinks of as his spiritual family. I bless you, I thank you, and I love you.